Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your dishwasher won't start, here are the top five most probable causes. The dishwasher door must be properly latched for the appliance to run. However, a defective door latch assembly may prevent the dishwasher from running even with the door fully closed. For many latches, you can use a multimeter to test the micro switch for continuity, a continuous electrical path inside the switch. If the micro switch tests negative for continuity, then the door latch is defective and will need to be replaced. In some cases, you can replace the micro switch independently of the latch. Some dishwasher models have a thermal fuse that may be located near the bottom of the tank or on or near the control board. The fuse will blow if the dishwasher overheats, cutting off power to the appliance. Again, you can use a multimeter to determine if the fuse has continuity. If not, then the fuse has blown and will need to be replaced. If some of the touchpad buttons work but others do not, then the touchpad may be preventing the dishwasher from starting. You can try cleaning the ribbon connector to improve the connection, but you may need to replace the touchpad assembly with a new one. The main control board provides power to nearly every dishwasher component. A faulty control board may prevent the dishwasher from starting. While the board cannot be easily tested, you can inspect it for signs of burning or a shorted out component. If your dishwasher uses a timer in place of a control board, the timer may have failed in the same way. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.